to my channel hello we are here again in Castello is for Sesco in Milan Italy guys I will show you the beautiful and amazing castle here in Italy my first time to came here and together with my sister so the whole day is very tired but uh, it's uh, as very awesome places here uh, this one is the castle has a quadrangle plan on a side across the city's walls the wall which one face the countryside north of Milan <coughs> has square towers and an archival gate it's very nice to see this was once a seized through a through bridge. There is a bridge inside the view of this guys and we will go there later. This is my sister to want to have a son. The northern tower is known as the Torre de la Corte. Yeah, the one we saw there. And its counterpart to the west is the Torre del Tesor. You saw in the at the at my left the two to torre. Both, both receive wide windows well, during the sports at night. So maybe this one is the, uh, the king owner of <clears throat> the castle, you know, in the Middle Ages. There is king and queen before. The corner depended by, to, by the Torre Ducale is the characterized by a long job bridge attributed to Bramanti and commissioned by Ludovico Sforza in the late 15th century, it's very long time, to connect the party to Cali, the court in the area used as local residence. Maybe this is the family, uh, family uh, castle before. Um, and the uh, Cortina de la Guerlanda. This refers to a wall protected by teeth, filled with water, built under Francesco Sforza, the owner of the castle. Of which few traces remain today, including the Porta del Socorso. So, uh, guys, let's go inside and we will see how beautiful the castle of uh, Castello so for Cisco. Come on guys, let's go. The external side, which one face the wall, city has two round tower commissioned by Francisco Esforza to replace the former square ones, which had become less suitable to defend against fire weapons in the World War. The central tower, called the Torre del Pilaretti, is a modern reconstruction. The round towers lost their upper parts under the Australians who needed open space for their artillery. The tower present day after sections are modern construction. So this is the modern, modern now uh, because before it's destroyed uh, the, after the war. So uh, guys, here and let's go again. And we are here now inside in the castle and we will s you will see surrounding by the walls <coughs> and then the walls is the external side which one face the walled city has two round towels as the side commissioned by Francisco Sforza for replace the former square ones 
which had become less suitable to defend against fire weapons. The center tower called the Torre del Pilaretti is a modern reconstruction. Oh, they so they they changed, and the round tower towers lost their upper parts under the Australians. Oh, it's it's the before the the World War. Um, so needed open space for their artillery. The towers present the upper sections are modern constructions. So guys, the Torre del Pilariti and the Forta del Santo Espirito, located farther to the south, are both presided by a rivulet. So the main gate leads to a large court from which several internal features can be seen right now. So guys, let's go again! <laughs>
so guys i hope that you enjoy my uh, uh, my movies and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel this is lisa vlog switzerland saying uh, goodbye and until my next video